You were waiting to see if I was going to start singing along, weren't you? <laughs> Good evening, Merry Christmas, and welcome to an evening with John Michael Ogletree. My name is Tim Callum. I'm one of the pastors here at Mountain Brook Community Church, and we are so glad that you have joined us this evening. This has become uh, something of a tradition for us. If you paid attention to the Michael, John Michael trivia that was on the screens, you know that this is our sixth time to host this concert. So I've got a question. We've learned a lot about John Michael. Let's learn a little bit, little bit about you. How many have been here for all six of the concerts? Okay, we got the family uh, fan section over here, a few other people scattered around. How many of you, is this your very first time to be here? All right, quite a few. You all are in for a treat. I, I just can't even tell you the treat that you're in for with John Michael with his gift of music and humor and inspiration. This is going to be a very, very special night. As uh, we, uh, music is such a part of the Christmas season, isn't it? And tonight is going to be a very special part of that. So if you would, join me in prayer, and then we'll have John Michael out. Father, we give you thanks for this evening. We thank you for this season. We thank you for what this season represents. The good news that brings great joy that to us, a Savior has been born, Christ Jesus. And so we celebrate that this evening. We celebrate it in music and laughter. We thank you for John Michael, for the gifts that you have given to him and that he uh, so graciously shares those gifts with us. And we pray that this evening would bring honor and glory to Jesus Christ, for it is he and the gift of his salvation for which we are most thankful. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.
Merry Christmas. Uh, thank you so, so much for being here tonight. I know you all had a million places you could have been, but you were here with me. Um, this is a Christmas concert starring my stomach. Um, that, I need to go on a diet. I was looking up there, I was like, oh my gosh. Like, ah. Like, ah. So that was an unintended consequence, but you all have just put way too much pressure on this entrance. Um, for those out of the loop, two years ago, I was hiding inside of a present, unbeknownst to everybody, popped out, uh, got some good laughs, but it, it started a slippery slope. Um, so then the, the last concert, we set up a fake zip line for like the first 200 seconds of the concert. Um, totally didn't use it. I just threw up a ladder for y'all this year to <laughs> just sit there and wonder. Um, but I figured it was worthwhile to just share with you some of the ideas. Not all of them, because I've still got a lot cooking. Um, but just for example, these are the types of things you all do to me. So involve the baptismal pool some way. Um, you know, I could just do the whole concert soaking wet. Uh, hide inside the piano, that would be killer. I'm pretty sure it would damage it though, and I don't know how I could safely get out. Uh, now this one, just right there, have like a black tarp and just drop it. That's my favorite, but I don't think uh, that would happen. Actually, zip line sounds fun, but too many legal reasons why we can't do that. Um, shoot out of a cannon. I don't think this is a thing. I think if I were to get inside of a cannon with gunpowder and light it, I would just be incinerated immediately. So I, I don't know how that started, but I did, uh, I did at least Wikipedia it. But um, I've got a ton of great music tonight for y'all. Um, so I, I wanna start off, I'm doing things a little bit different musically this year. I'm kind of getting less um, of the medleys and more honing in on uh, longer versions of uh, some of our favorite Christmas songs. So hope you enjoy these too.
Thank you. So uh, there's a phrase all of you are guilty of saying, and uh, I hear it every day, and I have these hilarious responses that I want to say, but I'm not always in the right environment where I could, so I thought I would share a few with you today. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you say this all the time. It's just part of your vocabulary. So, for example, the, the first line will be something just, I just hear in conversation like, when I was little, I used to love playing with trucks. And then I would say, when I was little, I drove a car. <laughs> so, uh, th these will be sprinkled throughout the concert for your enjoyment, but um, for now, we're going to get to more music. When I was little, my cousins and I were so close. Well, when I was little, I was so close to buying a beach condo. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna spread some Christmas cheer in a variety of ways tonight. Um, so I'm, I'm most likely looking for my Enneagram sevens uh, because I need a volunteer who's not afraid to speak and who thinks that he or she 
might be an expert with Christmas song lyrics. And there's a prize. Come on, Sarah Ellen. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay, so this is going to be quick. Are you ready? I'm going to try to be. Okay. I need for you to name all of the reindeer. Go. Uh, on Dasher, on Dancer, on Prancer, and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner, and Blitzen, and, and Rudolph. Yes! Wow! Oh my goodness gracious. All right. So, not that there's a tie into anything, but I've got a prize for you. So, can we bring out the prize? All right. So, I got you a CD player. Isn't that, isn't that special? Okay. Thank you so much. Wonder what that could be for. Yeah. All right. Wow. Um, I think I could have gotten like five reindeer. I, that, was, that was amazing. Um, okay, so anyway, that wasn't even a challenge. All right, uh, now this song kind of is a challenge. I've, I've shared this story uh, when I've played it in the past. Uh, these are two of my favorite songs to play, but my favorite things, um, this song is one of the reasons that I like showing uh, my hands up on here because I saw Billy Joel in concert perform a technique at the beginning of Angry Young Man, and it's just fascinating um, how he did it, so I totally ripped him off. Um, it took me about two years to be able to do this, and then I incorporated it in my favorite thing. So it's essentially hitting a note as fast as possible while letting the key come up to be hittable again, and then that is a single note, and then you, you move it as the melody moves. Um, so you'll, you'll know it when it gets to that part of my favorite things. And I, I am so booked during Christmas. The first year that I did this, I actually injured myself playing my favorite thing. So I'm bringing it back. So uh, say a prayer for me. I don't hurt myself.
When I was little, the only thing I would order was chicken fingers. I'm shocked I didn't grow feathers. When I was little, I liked ordering a kid's meal and a glass of wine. could go all night with these. So when I was little, I loved going to see my grandmother. Well, when I was little, I loved seeing my credit score above 800. <laughs> <laughs> so this song, the last one, We Three Kings, was a little singer songwritery. I, I tried to slow it down and embellish some of the moments. And so I'm doing this. Uh, my good friend Drew, who brought the CD player out, who leads worship here, hates angels we have heard on high. And so it's my goal. Drew, this is for you. Wherever you are, I hope you don't hate this. So that's the challenge. <laughs>
Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I've got another one. I didn't know that stuck this in. Okay, so let's see what this is. And these are all real, by the way. I have heard people say these recently, just right in front of my face. I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Awesome. Yeah, it must be nice to not be that. I don't know. Uh, when I was little, I loved that song. When I was little, I loved staying in ketosis. <laughs> Okay, so this is big news. CDs are making a comeback. <laughs> you heard it here first. They are everywhere. Everybody's doing it. And boy, have I got some good news for you. I have a new Christmas album. Uh, you heard Home Alone uh, off of it. And last year, you heard A Joy to the World from it. And I've got uh, several other tracks on there that I'm doing tonight, they're just $5. So, you know, keep the ticket admission price in mind. You know, it's only five more dollars than you paid to be here right now. That's a pretty good deal. And to eliminate every single reason why you would not buy one, I am accepting every form of payment literally challenge me with a form of payment and I'll take it. I take cash, check, written, you don't even have to write it to me, I'll take it, the bank will cash it. Um, I take credit cards, debit cards, I'll even take gift cards. If you have a Subway card with $5 on it, I'll give you a CD for it. You don't even have to have it with you tonight. You can just drop it in the mailbox. You can, I, I eat Chick-fil-A seven times a week, Chick-fil-A gift card, that's fine. You can send it through an app. There are unlimited ways. Give me a Build-A-Bear gift card and I'll go buy a few outfits. <laughs> and so, but I do need to tell you this. So, so there's tables out there, you just take them and it's the honor system. But do not steal from a disabled person in a church. <laughs> That is highly unrecommended, so don't do that. However, I felt like you all needed a little extra incentive tonight, and so um, I have scattered hidden coupons all around you. There's a Bible in front of you, and if you open that Bible, I uh, think front row people, yeah, you're out of luck, it's okay. <laughs> Uh, your coupon's in heaven. Uh, there are coupons in the very front page. Um, yes, and, and those are my gift to you this Christmas. And I do need you to check that expiration date though because not all of them are still valid. Uh, there was a printing issue, so, uh, but just depending on who's out there, they might take it. Um, so anyway, I hope with, with all of those ways I've tried to mitigate you not buying a CD, go ahead and buy them. Um, so I've got a quick YouTube update. Um, you all were with me at the very beginning, before I reached 1,000 subscribers, and I think I was celebrating making uh, $17 from them my first month, I was just tickled. Um, and yes, Google did send me a tax form, and I reported that. Uh, that's, so these CDs might be another story, though, depending on if your form of payment. And, but the really amazing part about YouTube, for example, my concert last year has been viewed over 2,000 times. And so even if you're not here, just technology allows us to record it and put it out there and share it. And, and my goal with music is not just to sit here and impress you. It's actually to encourage you. And that's something I'm really passionate about and YouTube gives me a, a great, ability to do that in a way that I, I wouldn't have had years ago. And so uh, I want to invite somebody up on stage, Sean Hogan, and this is a friend of mine. We're actually meeting for the first time. 
I read and reply to all of my comments. So Sean, very good. Oh, goodness gracious. Is this still working? It is. Absolutely. Good to meet you. Thank you so much. So he is one who has been encouraged by my channel, which, and didn't know me at all, just found me through YouTube, but he himself has an amazing story. So I'd like to, like for you to share it with everybody. Thank you. First of all, I'll say it's an absolute honor to finally meet you. Ton of admiration and respect, not, not just for your piano skills, but you as a person. Um, I discovered him with his documentary, and I think the first song that I heard you play was Beauty and the Beast. Which, oh, which is absolutely that's a good amazing. one. Um, so I was in the United States Army, and January 30th, 2017, I was actually hit by a truck, 60 miles an hour on my left side. Um, I was a warrant officer, which is very difficult to attain, and I was able to attain that and thriving. And essentially, it took my career. So for 17 months, my arm was stuck like this, couldn't open up my hand, went through a lot of uh, obviously physical difficulties, but, but mental. And um, if not for my wife, uh, Marie, I probably would not be here right now. Not proud to say that, but I would say uh, two messages I would say to you tonight is one, definitely find your purpose, find your why. And then second, surround yourself with people who love you because they can save you. And if not for my wife and my family and my people and my friends, I'd probably not be here. I struggle with sleeping, and that's when I discovered this gentleman right here. <laughs> and uh, he helped me actually find some, some lullabies in my brain, and I was able to fall asleep a few times, awesome. which I'm very appreciative of. And um, he's the reason why I started to play the piano. I never thought I'd be able to play again, and I have uh, limitations here. I usually play with my thumb and my pinky, and um, crazy the things I've been able to do, and uh, it's all because of you. So I really appreciate everything that you've done for me in my life, and uh, man, it's absolutely a pleasure to, uh, to meet you, and uh, you're, you're amazing. Thank you so much, Sean, Merry for Christmas sharing you your story. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Let's give him another round of applause. Thank you for your service. Thank you. All right. Um, so I just can't help but feel immense joy from, um, from just the Lord using my channel and to, to do what I hoped. It's really, it's really amazing if you just, in faith, act. It's amazing the things that God can do. So I'm going to play kind of a, uh, just an impromptu Joy to the World. This is a different version than really I've ever played. I don't want, I don't know where this thing is. Is it in my pocket? I think we're good. Let's see. I, oh, it's getting caught on something. Let's see. I'm going to have to get up one more time. Oh, yeah, that was it. All right.
Thank you. Oh, gosh, there's a lot of these. It, it didn't, when I was planning all of this in my shower this morning, uh, this seems like a lot, but let's, we're gonna do it. When I was little, I lost my favorite stuffed animal at the zoo. Well, when I was little, I lost $10,000 in one week of my 401k. <laughs> Again, I can't say these things to people. Uh, cause they, but I have converted a few people to say when I was younger. Then that, that just kind of like steals my thunder and I don't have anything. Then I can be like, yeah, I lost a stuffed animal too. Um, so I'm gonna do something I've never done that I'm very excited about. So similar to needing a volunteer earlier, uh, this is a much easier job. Um, I have got gigantic letters that each correspond to a piano note. So I need seven volunteers. It's just gonna take like one minute. You don't have to talk, you don't have to do anything. Very easy. So seven volunteers to just come and line up on the step. Do I have anybody? Nice. All right, got one. Anybody else? Super easy, come on, yeah. Come on, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we got seven. Okay, cutting it off. All right, so if you could cut this just so that people don't call me a liar, that it really is, yep, you're good. Okay, thank you. Okay, now just pick any notes. All right. Pick any note you want, any note you want. One, two, three, four, I guess it doesn't really matter. Yep, come on. Oh, sorry, yeah, I can't reach. Don't know what that's like. Okay, there you go. Five, six, okay, seven. Okay, great, okay, now you can look at your note. That's fine. I'm going to now get my phone out. Okay, here, but I need you to like, try to form a line. Can you just, on the same step? Yeah, sorry, you can move that out of the way. Okay, yep, same, same step. Here, all right, yeah, right there, that's good. All right, so hold your letter up straight so that I can see it. Perfect, 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 yeah. All right, so I'm gonna write it out and then you're gonna turn to the audience real quick. So I've got an E, I've got an F, I've got a G, I've got a C, I've got a D, I've got a G, and I've got an F. Okay, now, can you turn around on that same step to show the audience? Yeah, turn around, there you go. Okay, these are the notes. Very good, all right, that's all I need you for, but these were $3 at Kinko, that's 60% that's of a CD, so I need those back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I appreciate it, all right. All right, so there were a lot of options. And um, this is to illustrate that I was not in control of the cards dealt to me. But I am gifted to do something with them. And the goal is to create a song right here using those notes as the melody. And there's no way I could practice it. So it's all using my gift. But with dwarfism, some might say I was dealt a bad hand. However, God has given me so many blessings to provide a way. And I, I am in control of so many things other than that card dealt to me. I'm in control of my attitude. I'm in control of getting enough sleep and the friends that I hang out with and how I spend my time. And all of that can culminate into having a good day and then having a good week. And then before you know it, you're doing okay. And then you can really move forward with making an impact to encourage other people. And, and so 
if this song bombs, I'm not going to demonstrate that very well, but I don't think it will. So um, I'm going to play this very slowly and then you will see it come to life. So that was, um, that was not really a song, um, but it was a way I could demonstrate through writing a little bit of a song. Um, but I want to play my absolute favorite Christmas song for you all right now, O Holy Night. Uh-oh. That's for later. <laughs>
thank you so much. I uh, got an Apple Watch notification. I, I'm pretty sure I had like 100 steps when I got here today, and it just says I reached the 3,000 step milestone. So I don't think they have quite calibrated it correctly, because I'm pretty sure I've only taken about 20 since I've gotten here. But another when I was little, gosh. And don't necessarily stop saying this. I just might start saying the second part out loud. So. When I was little, I sold Girl Scout cookies. Well, when I was little, I sold my first house to avoid paying back my first time homebuyer credit. <laughs> That's a true story. True story. Um, okay, so I, I wanted to just leave you with something, um, something lasting that that you might not just leave encouraged in the moment, but you might have a sustainable encouragement uh, as we finish out 2022 and as we uh, experience 2023 together. Um, as we were all watching church online, um, in addition to our church, I explored other churches as I'm sure all of you did. And, I was challenged by a, a pastor to do this, and um, the reality is Christmas, we, we know the good news of Christmas from the Bible, and there is so much truth and so many promises for us in Scripture, and so the challenge was to search it and find seven truths as a starting place, things you need to hear daily and just assign one truth to each day. So I went through that exercise and I have been doing this and it is amazing how life-changing and how life-giving it is. And so I, I feel like there's a lot of value in being vulnerable and so I wanna share these seven things with you all and then challenge you to do the same. So my Monday truth is that I'm a new creation. That's something I need to hear because it's so easy to get discouraged. And I know that Jesus has purchased me, he loves me, and that one day I'm gonna be with him in perfect harmony with him. And so I just need to hear that, that I'm a new creation. And I need to hear it before I even check my phone, before I even know what time it is, preach it to myself during the day. And then before my head hits the pillow, just thank him for making me a new creation. That's an amazing truth. Tuesday, my God goes before me. As a person who lives with dwarfism, I have a lot of needs, but God goes before me to provide all of those needs. And I have different needs than you do. Um, I can't reach a lot of things. I can't carry a lot of things. But Jesus teaches us that salvation's out of reach. He's got to come down to us. Life is too, too heavy to carry. He has to carry it for us. Whenever I climb up on a bar stool at a restaurant, I'm reminded this world was not created for me. This restaurant wasn't even. But guess what? It wasn't created for you either. And our God is going before us and providing for us. So I, I just speak that to myself all day Tuesday. Wednesday, I can do all things with Jesus' strength. And it's, it's not like, hey, I've got a concert tonight. I'm going to use Jesus' strength for it. It's, it's so much more powerful than that. Um, we all come out of the womb loving one person, and that's ourself. And I think marriage is a really good test to see how well we've died to ourselves because it forces you in a successful marriage to care for somebody other than yourself. And then having children, I have none, I'm told they're a joy though. <laughs> but that's yet another opportunity to pour out more care to somebody other than yourself. 
Well, I've never been married and I don't have kids. So it's very challenging for me to truly care for somebody else, but I can do it with Jesus. So if I ask, how is your day? That's more conversational than me genuinely caring how their day was and how I can be praying for them. So I need Jesus' strength to do things that I just can't do in my own capacity. Thursday, my suffering is worth it. So my present suffering pales into comparison for my future glory. What a truth. Life is so difficult. It is amazing how sin has just ravaged this world we live in. And it's, it's fun to, uh, to get together and celebrate, but it's a fight to keep that joy. Um, be- because for whatever reason, I don't understand it, but suffering is in God's quiver. Jesus himself suffered. But what we have as a truth to to really trust in is, I believe that before a circumstance lands in my lap, God dips it in his grace first. And that just, that means so much to me because again, like the other days, he goes before me, he's, he's making me new, he's giving me strength. So that's Thursday. Friday, there's no weapon formed against me that will prevail. So the enemy's really good at what he does but Jesus is better at what he does. And when you lose sight of that, it can be really easy to get discouraged. And and so I have to, on Fridays, tell myself that. Saturday, I am a child of God. Um, Christmas, you know, we talk about how he came as a baby and essentially fulfilled the law. So now we're not under it, which is amazing because we couldn't keep it. But he wasn't just like, all right, you can get into heaven, see ya. He actually did so much more. He has promised so much, and we are now co-heirs with Christ and adopted sons and daughters. Like, that's amazing. I could win a $10 billion lottery tomorrow morning, and I'm no better off. I'm already as favored as any person could get in the existence of mankind because I'm a child of God, and I need to hear that all day, every day. And then Sunday, the same power that raised Jesus from the dead lives in me. And what a promise. That just means there's no circumstance that life can throw at me that I'll be ill-equipped for. I've got Jesus. I've got his strength. It's gonna be okay. Things might change, things might not go my way, they might not happen when I want them to, but I'm gonna be okay. So my challenge to you is to find out where you're getting discouraged and then just seek the Lord's help and find the promises in scripture that speak to that because they're everywhere. Um, So, We're halfway through the show. Uh, We're gonna take a 15 minute intermission. Totally kidding, we're almost done. Uh, That would be terrible. I know I could be Jimi Hendrix and y'all would be so ready to go to dinner. (laughs) Diminishing returns, it's a powerful thing. Um, So I've just got one last song for y'all and I guess one more when I was little. When I was little, taking out the trash was my responsibility. When I was little, I was responsible for managing and reporting the financials of a large corporation. (laughs) So this song is entitled Adagio for Christmas. It's the title track of the CD I've guilted you into purchasing. And um, it's something that, it's it's something I'm really proud of. Adagio for Strings is a contemporary classical piece. Uh, The original is like 15 minutes. This is not 15 minutes. but I've just woven different uh, carols into it. And so, let's see, I definitely need to get ready though, because I've gotta gotta hear this. So I'm hearing um, the orchestra in my ear so that I can do it a little bit better, because this is a challenge for me, because I have to play it the exact same way I played it in the recording studio before it was orchestrated. I don't have music, 
that's not an easy thing to do. So, um, but it's a really fun thing to do, and I practice it just for y'all tonight. So, thank you so so much for coming. I hope everybody has a merry merry Christmas. Uh, this is the last song of the night. Um, so I hope you enjoy Adagio for Christmas, although I need to turn my pack on. Oops. Wrong pocket. And I'm trapped again. <laughs>
Thank you.